Hey, welcome back to another episode of Willow's Talk. We are in Ninja Girls Reborn, covering, yes, the girls once more. We already covered Lana, Lava, Jonah, and Boxer. Now we're going to move on to Cynthia. Cynthia, she's ranked up here, as you can see. Um, she does seem to have some uses in just the right team. She is pretty decent in guild events by the looks of it. And uh, she is good in PK, it shows, and high in attack and champion. Uh, she's a middle caster, deals massive AOE, area of effect damage. With her skills. I have not really used her much. Uh, she has a few skins. That one is what she comes as. That's the one that she has for Awakening. And that's the one that I really want to have for her. Because that's, well, a little bit more warmer. <laughs> and she's got some cool butterfly in her hair, too. She's got cool butterflies here, too. But, I don't know. It's just me. Each to their own. She has a few books that increases her spell power, maximum health, spell power, spell penetration. Hmm. I wonder if that means that she's a spell girl. Hmm. Yes, sir. You can see that. Some of these are so easy you can tell that they are spell girls, but as you will see later on in other episodes when I'm covering other girls, it's not necessarily that easy to determine what exactly their specialty is. Now here it says magic damage. Sometimes the wordings comes right out and tells you what kind of damage it is. Some girls are not so easy. Now, I'm just breezing through this because, well, as you can see, past guild events, she's not really that good. People don't really use her. I do think she's underrated considering you look at her attack here and you look down here at her actual attack. Uh, her attack is... 4740 plus that. So she's well over the 5 in that. And look at her spell power. It is huge. I do believe that she has potential if put with the right team. I will be experimenting with that eventually down the road to see who might be the most powerful team to put her in. Since she's AO. I wonder if a strong front tank of AoE, like perhaps uh, Aqua, I believe is one, or Aquaria. Where, where is she? I'll just show you her real quick. Uh, do, do, well, might have missed her somewhere. Well, darn. Hmm. Looking over a four leaf clover for the girl to wait a second. I know I passed her now. Did I give her a skin? Hmm. Oh, right there. I kept putting my finger on her. Her, she is a tank and she does have AoE. So maybe putting her with this girl and a few others, maybe making a whole AoE team might be good, might not be good. We'll see in later episodes. And pretty much uh, she is also a Val girl. Right there. Now, she brings girls back to consciousness. Her hexes, I haven't figured out, but of course, she would be spell power. 
Then you got forums. Here's the cards I do have. Not many, sadly. I still have so many skins to get. And then the intimacies are just the same. But as you can see, I don't have her decked out. In her story. As you can see, I got the whole story. Well, that's it for this episode of Willis Talk. As you can see, she's also breaked out and emblemized. Until next time, keep leveling all your girls and stay tuned for more exciting girl action.